From the first moments you enter Croatia, you may rest assured that we are taking necessary measures and the highest level of precautions to ensure that you are protected from COVID. Maintaining the mandatory safe distance, insisting on hygiene and regular body temperature checks are just some of the procedures that are required, both in public spaces, institutions, and facilities that you will visit during your stay. This is why you can relax and enjoy all of Croatia's beautiful landmarks safely. At petrol stations, as well as other touch points throughout your travels, we ensure your maximal protection. When you see the signs, safe travels and safe stay, you can be sure that you are in a facility whose measures are regularly checked with the goal of preserving your health and safety, as well as that of your family. You can begin to finally experience a relaxed holiday full of fun and moments to remember. Even on the excursions you take, you will notice total attention is aimed towards ensuring your health and safety. Every day, the disinfection of objects you get in contact with will allow you to delight in a carefree vacation and let you relax in your natural surroundings. Make the most of it. Croatia also has a lot to offer in terms of culture. This is why our museums and galleries have implemented the prescribed health and safety measures for full enjoyment and plenty of new experiences. Health and safety are of utmost importance when you decide to take pleasure in the vast offer of Croatian restaurants, bistros and cafes. And this is why they are organized in a manner where direct contact is avoided when possible. And the staff is trained to ensure your privacy and health. Enjoy yourselves as Croatia has it all, from recreation to pleasant intimate moments and outdoor fun for kids. If you've already been to Croatia, welcome back. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, enjoy and take the time to explore. Croatia awaits you, ready for a safe and relaxing holiday. Thank you very much for this video. Uh, uh, thank you very much for this video, which has shown, which has illustrated all the operational measures uh, which are, uh, which have been pay put in place by Croatia to reassure customers uh, and to assure that they're going to have a, a brilliant vacation experience. Um, this is the video as such. Uh, we've heard that the minister, Miss Minister, she's not available yet. So what I suggest is that I give you, that we give you the chance to express your point of view of what does it take for a destination to uh, assure its success for relaunching business in 2021. So what are the key factors uh, which you need, which you want the destination uh, to be strong at uh, in order to assure a good season, a good start. So we are uh, launching a poll. This is the uh, this this is the uh, the virtue of uh, Zoom and other of these measures. We are launching a poll. Please feel free uh, to click at three uh, items in this list of seven. Three items which you consider as the most important ones. Uh, for travelers in order to book in order
Okay, so you have seen the seven items. You were able to mark the most three important ones. And now the technical team in the background will proceed with the analysis of the votes. And here we are. Um, what we've seen, what we see over here, the implementation of health and safety measures uh, appears to be the leading uh, factors to make people travel. Destination attractiveness as such goes along with waiving of travel restrictions for vaccinated or COVID-19 recovered people, both uh, scoring 52%. So these are the three items which we have uh, put in front. Um, please note that the panelists uh, and other presenters uh, were not entitled to vote. So this is your vote. And obviously we will put this in the documentation. As I see, so thank, thank you very much for your participation. As I see um, the honored uh, Minister of Tourism and Sports of Croatia, Nikolina Brindjac uh, is with us right here, right now. Thank you very much. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bachmann. Uh, first of all, my apologies. We had a meeting earlier, so it was very important for me to be and to stay there. Thank you, everybody. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, uh, it is a great pleasure to welcome you to European Travel Agents and Tour Operators Association webinar, Croatia Safe and Attractive. I'm especially proud that Croatia bears the status of ECTA's preferred destination this year, which marks 60 year, successful years of ECTA's work. We are happy that Croatia has a representative, Mr. Zgomba, as a member of the executive board of the ECTA. Cooperation with uh, uh, ECTA is very important for the Croatian tourism, but it has never been as important as it is today when we are all will have to work together to restart organized tourist traffic as soon as possible. This is our common and urgent goal at the European and even global level, because our citizens are keen to start traveling again, and it is our duty to secure all the preconditions for safe and enjoyable travel, as well as predictable planning of vacations. With that in mind, Croatia is among the first, if not the very first European destination that is already applying by their criteria for tourist visits, the same criteria that should soon apply also at the EU level. Tourists from the European Union, but also from other destinations can enter Croatia from the beginning of the April with a negative PCR or rapid antigen test or a vaccination certificate or with a positive PCR or rapid antigen test, confirming recovery from infection. Children under the age of seven do not need to present a negative result test. Additional condition applying to third countries is a valid certificate of paid accommodation in Croatia, whether in hotel, camp, vacation rental, or other type of accommodation, as well as for the boat charter. Croatia is also taking part in the pilot program for European Digital Green Certificates, and we will be ready to implement the new system even before the procedure at the EU level is concluded, and that is in the beginning of the June. However, as I said, Croatia already applies all these criteria, and we have seen many positive reactions to this decision, especially from the countries outside the European Union, so in addition to over 180 lines that will fly to Croatia this summer, and a new direct line from New York to Dubrovnik was announced last week. This means that airlines are counting on Croatia this year, and I believe we have given them a solid reason to choose Croatia as a trusted, safe, and a quality destination. Croatia began organized uh, vaccination of tourist workers almost three weeks ago in Dubrovnik, and the interest remains uh, extremely high. In a survey we conducted, more than 70,000 employees in the tourism sector expressed interest in vaccination. 
Organized vaccination of tourist workers uh, has already started in all coastal countries, as well as in the city of Zagreb, and uh, we will further intensify our activities during this month. We expect that more than 55% of the Croatian citizens will be vaccinated by the end of the June. There are already more than 300 testing points in tourist destinations so that our guests can easily take required tests when they are returning home. The government will subsidize antigen tests for tourists, making testing more affordable. Furthermore, many hotels and camps in Croatia already offer their guests the possibility of testing without crowds and leaving the facility where they are staying. We are also remain very serious about adherence to epidemiological measures. In the beginning of the year, the minister launched the flagship project Safe Stay in Croatia to secure the compliance with epidemiological measures in restaurants, in cafes, in hotels, camps, and all other facilities related to the tourism, such as national parks, such as museums, rental cars, and airplanes, swimming pools, and aqua parks, as well as tourist agencies. We can proudly say that around 14,000 facilities are already marked with safe stay stamp in Croatia. Compliance with the epidemiological protocols is monitored at three levels. First level is supervision by the ministry. Second level is supervision by the professional associations. And lastly, guests themselves have the opportunity to address their impressions at the uh, ministry via website Safe Stay in Croatia. On the website, Safe Stay in Croatia, tourists can find all the necessary information regarding the travel and Safe Stay in Croatia. Furthermore, we advise all travelers to fill out the form, uh, enter Croatia, and submit it prior to going to Croatia to avoid delays at the border, like the last year. Dear participants, in the period from January to the end of April 2021, there were more than 2 million overnight stays in Croatia, and no case, cases of infection were recorded in commercial accommodation. And that is very much important. I think that uh, this says enough about the measures we are all, all adhering, and here and about uh, the readiness of our hotels and camps, as well as the holiday homes for the high season. Croatia also has the largest charter fleet in the world, covering 40% of the global charter fleet. Croatian archipelago is the second largest in the Mediterranean, and our islands are particularly attractive to tourists. The incidence of infection on our islands is generally low, so we have started the new action, Croatian Islands Green Zones. I would like to conclude with a very important message related to the regional approach. The incidence of COVID-19 in Croatia has lowered significantly in the last week, and I believe that following the measures taken, this is a good trend and this will continue. In Istria, yesterday I was there, we actually had zero infections. And this brings me to my next topic, very important topic. Croatia has had a very good experience with its regional approach to epidemiological measures. And in accordance with the decision of the civil protection headquarters, uh, headquarters at the local and the regional level can adopt strict measures that can uh, then prescribe at the national level. In line with our positive experience, I believe that the regional approach by smaller regions on the reopen EU map is something we all need to work on together in months to come. If we use smaller regions, for instance, NATS 3 level instead of uh, current NATS 2 level for marking green uh, regions at the reopen EU map, we will have a more precise information on the areas with low incidence of virus. I think this is a really important for all tourist countries. But it is also perfectly logical because we have learned 
how the virus spreads. And it is clear that high incidence in one area does not mean that high incidence in the whole country or even whole region. We consider the reopen EU map an excellent tool and believe it should be uh, geared as much as possible towards providing all relevant information to citizens in order to facilitate free movement within the European Union. Croatia therefore strongly advocates labeling according to the NAS3 region to provide travelers with, a, with more precise information and therefore more predictability for travel planning. And we all know that more predictability means a faster return to organized travel. I believe that uh, everything I said today then the activities I presented to you clearly show that Croatia is ready for the tourist season and that your guests will have the best and safest possible holidays here. I would like to wish them all a very warm welcome and you a very successful webinar. Thank you very much, Mr. Bachmann. And to Mr. Zwamba. Dear uh, and Honourable uh, Minister of Tourism and Sports of Croatia, dear Nicolina Brinjac, thank you very much for, for, for this presentation, for the optimistic uh, point of view, for the very operational, engaging uh, procedures you put in place. Thank you very much for that. We understood that you won't, we will not be able to, to stay with us until the end of our meeting. So please let me say right at this very moment, thank you very much and all the best, all the best for your summer 2021. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, right, um, some procedural information. So if anybody wants to uh, ask a question, please use the chat box. Uh, you, can, uh, you can use, uh, as you know, within any Zoom application. So the chat box for questions and our technical team will take care of this. Right, without further ado, um, we do have a next speaker um, who will give us a closer understanding of how markets are functioning in Europe uh, after uh, this first year of, of pandemic crisis. And this is uh, Frida Poljak, research analyst with Euromonitor International. Frida, go ahead, please. Thank you very much. Um, can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, good afternoon and uh, welcome to your monitor's presentation. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bachmann, for the introduction and uh, special thanks to ECTA for the invitation. So today we are going to look at the impact the pandemic has been having on the travel and tourism demand in Europe. And I'm going to walk you through the key consumer and industry trends uh, we identified and, of course, their implication on the travel market in Croatia in a short and long term. So let's start with having a look at the impact of coronavirus on the travel industry. We see that the number of arrivals to Europe recorded a 54% decline in 2020. But what can we expect in 2021 and in terms of recovery? The travel demand in Europe will take at least three years to recover to pre-crisis levels. At Euromonitor, we developed four different COVID-19 scenarios, which are taking into account factors including infection rates, mortality rates, social distancing effects, and the number of waves. So as you can see on our slide under the best case scenario, um, according to our most optimistic scenario, the demand in 2021 can reach 65% that of in 2019. However, in the most pessimistic case, case, which is our worst case scenario, in case of further lockdowns and travel restrictions, the number of arrivals will reach less than half, 41% of 2019 levels. It's important to mention that due to the unprecedented nature of the pandemic, um, we review quarterly our forecast models in order to provide an accurate picture. Uh, and these figures are from our latest update from Q1 2021. Next slide, please. In terms of travel trends, we see that uh, COVID-19 has been shaping the market, consumer and industry trends since its outbreak. We are looking at the travel trends accelerating and decelerating 
in the, due to the pandemic in the function of their short and long-term impacts on the market. So, for example, we have seen that customer preferences shifting towards domestic tourism, local day trips, as presented on the top left side of the slide, while traditional ultra-luxury um, city trips via, or trips via cruise on the bottom left is not something travelers wanted during the pandemic. In a long term, we expect travelers shifting away from mass tourism and long-haul flights, all-inclusive travel. So all forms of travel that are associated with overcrowding, as you can see on the bottom right. And finally, on the top right, sustainable travel options, being closer to nature through, for example, choosing camping as form of an accommodation are expected to rise and providing opportunities for the travel industry to recover. We have found that travel experiences are set to gain even more focus in the upcoming year. And while at the moment safe travel experiences are top priority for customers, authentic and local experiences as well as sustainable experiences are increasingly appealing to customers and travelers. Um, next slide, please. So an example of such an experience, a local authentic experience could be uh, glamping, which is glamorous camping. Um, it offers a luxurious adventure close to nature, and it has been seeing an increase in interest from travelers in recent years, of course, accelerated by the pandemic. Also, digital acceleration is facilitating the provision of experiences. For example, Questo, founded in Romania, is a mobile-based app providing gamified, self-guided experiences and tours to travelers. And Questo and the idea very much resonate with customers who in general seek for interactive engagement and opportunities uh, for creating experiences while traveling. So these identified trends and opportunities raise some questions in relation to the travel demand in Croatia. In a short term, will there be an increase in day trips in Croatia? And in a long term, what experiences could the market offer to attract more customers? I believe our panelists are in the best position to address these questions. So now I would like to thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions about our research or our insights, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you. Dear Frida Poljak, thank you very much for this um, uh, very interesting uh, presentation. Um, I guess the, we have to take things into consideration the standards, and we have to have to have a closer look on developments, as you pointed out, experiences, immersion, immersion and sustainability will be uh, accelerated by, by COVID-19. How to get these things together, how to describe this as a destination strategy, this is the subject which we're going to discuss in our panel session. And I'm very glad, I'm honored to have four experienced, uh, highly uh, ex uh, experienced uh, industry actors uh, at our table. And um, what we would like to do, um, that every one of the panelists will have a, shape, a statement of, let's say, six minutes covering his field of expertise. And then we conclude with a couple of questions afterwards. So without further ado, let me please introduce you to our first panelist, which is Christian Stanicic. Um, he's the director of the Croatian, Na Croatian National Tourism Board, which of course is, uh, is, 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 is working on promoting the Croatian tourism nationally, internationally. And uh, it's therefore uh, has a strategic component and has an operational component. So, Please welcome uh, Mr. Christian Stanicic. Um, what is his point of view concerning Croatia, how to position itself for the new challenges and for the ones who are right there around the corner? Christian. Thank you, Mr. Bachmann. And uh, I would like, first of all, to welcome everybody on this panel today. Uh, it's an honor to be with you today. And of course, I would like to thank ECTA, to thank Mr. Bachmann, to thank Eric, and special thank and, and uh, for his support is to your member of executive board and our Croatian representative, Mr. Zgomba. 
Um, so, uh, many, many things that uh, has to be pointed out are mentioned and were mentioned by our minister, Mr. Mrs. Brnjac, but I would like to focus maybe on a promotional side of activities that we are providing in Croatian National Tourist Board and which are also connected with promotion of the safety, because safety nowadays in these circumstances of Croatian uh, and uh, global tourism is uh, based on uh, health and, and safety and of course security. Uh, I think this is the first element when somebody is deciding and choosing a destination uh, to travel to or uh, the destination that anybody is going to visit. Uh, so you heard about the uh, project Safe Stay in Croatia. Uh, you can find many, uh, much more uh, information on our website, safestayincroatia.hr. Uh, but maybe just a, a few topics that I would like to uh, point out. So uh, the project was launched by the Ministry of Tourism and Sport uh, we, in cooperation with Croatian National Tourist Board. And we wanted to point out the security and the safety uh, that Croatia is providing on the highest level uh, based on uh, all protocols and standards that, that we are providing uh, in our hotels and other facilities uh, concerning uh, the stay of tourists in Croatia during their vacation or, or uh, during their, their business trip or, or whatever. So we launched the campaign um, on 11 markets and uh, of course the campaign was very well uh, done by our partner, partners uh, at each, uh, uh, on each market and uh, that's why Croatia has a, a high level of visibility because um, I think that Croatia is still one of, of the top Mediterranean uh, destinations in this moment um, I will. I would just mention that uh, in last year, uh, when we all uh, had the lockdown uh, at the beginning of the year because of pandemic, um, we were very successful due to circumstances, and then we had uh, over 50% of uh, tourism in overall, comparing to 2019. Uh, of course, as it was mentioned before, we cannot expect to come back in one year, but I think uh, in, within the next three years, we can be, um, uh, we can be in much met better position. Back to our campaign, uh, the campaign was, of course, launched basically on uh, online and digital channels. Uh, of course, uh, we also included uh, our social media network, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, because it's uh, the best way to com communicate with the largest uh, number of people who are uh, thinking about traveling. And uh, the result is that nowadays we do have, uh, uh, as I said, much higher visibility of creation tourism. Uh, we are providing information about all the protocols, about what the tourists can uh, expect when uh, uh, it is coming to Croatia, either uh, protocols of uh, crossing the border or staying in uh, any facility, uh, any accommodation facility, being in a restaurant, uh, traveling inside the country and so on. But I would like also to point out two other <clears throat> elements which I uh, think are very important. Um, first of all is the vaccination of uh, tourist empl uh, employees in tourism in Croatia. Uh, it's very important because everybody who will be in touch with our tourists will be vaccinated. And uh, I think this is uh, additional element of safety that uh, is going to be and it, it's, it must be pointed out. Uh, the second point is also um, uh, decreasing number of, of uh, testing points. So um, it is very important that uh, any uh, foreign tourist who is coming to Croatia and after he is staying uh, and coming get back home, if it is necessary, uh, can get a quick test uh, in many, many locations in, in one destination. So. Um, I think uh, this is all connected with uh, security, with safety, and uh, we are providing the 
um, best informations that uh, we can provide on, on the market uh, based on, on, first of all, European countries, because Croatia uh, has over 80% of uh, foreign tourism uh, based on European uh, income. Um, I would like also to uh, point out that uh, the campaign Safe Stay in Croatia was launched in March. It was uh, active in March and, um, uh, and April. And uh, we will start uh, within the next few days uh, the main campaign, which will be the brand campaign, when we will continue to um, inform tourists about uh, the situation and security in Croatia. And of course, uh, it will be also connected with uh, our products and destinations. It will be a kind of um, uh, welcome campaign for uh, tourists that will come in Croatia. Uh, the campaign will be active in 11 um, markets. It will be uh, special for each market with special messages. And I think that uh, based on the situation that we have now, based on everything that we have done, uh, in past few months for uh, good preparation or excellent preparation of Croatian tourism for, for this uh, high summer season, uh, we will be ready and we will be uh, the safest destination uh, again in 2021. Christian, thank you very much uh, for your statement um, and looking forward for all the promotional initi initiative and looking forward for these reassuring messages uh, you pointed out testing facilities are put in place. You pointed out vaccination of staff, which gives us a, a direct link to our next speaker. Uh, let me please welcome Bernard Sensarovic. Uh, he is the um, CEO of the associations of employees, uh, employers in the Croatian hotel hospitality industry. They have a membership of 400 hotels more than 200 companies from the entire of Croatia are members of this syndicate, of this association. So Bernard, so what is your point of view? What is your challenge? What are the things you would like to put forward? Please go ahead for five, six minutes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jürgen. Uh, thanks to, uh, hello to all our uh, panelists, hello to all the participants, and uh, thank you for ECTA for inviting me to join you in this uh, webinar. So from a hotelier uh, point of view, I would like to uh, represent what hoteliers are doing uh, to ensure a good customer experience and a safe stay uh, in Croatia and what have been results so far in our uh, in our activities so uh, when all of this started of course the task that was put in front of us was how to reimagine the customer experience but to at the same way uh, give the guests emotion and feeling that they want from their holiday or from their uh, business stay or business travel so everything that we did basically was done uh, with one uh, with one point that uh, the trust is something that is essential that we need to establish for the returns of our guests. So our efforts were uh, I would highlight three uh, three streams of work what hoteliers uh, did to ensure this uh, good and uh, safe stay. So of course something that was uh, put in front of all of us also in this poll uh, that showed was health and safety. The other thing was digitalization of our processes, and third was communication. So, like we have, uh, we can uh, see from the poll that we uh, just did at the beginning of the webinar. So, number one expectation thus far was health and safety standard. Uh, our ministry spoke about the safe stay, and Mr. Stanich spoke about of safe stay. So, I won't use uh, any of our time for this, but just uh, I want to highlight that hotels from the first day uh, that everything this started implemented strict uh, and rigorous health and safety standard. I would say the majority of hotels uh, has implemented standards that are far above the ones which are required uh, by the state. We have also done one survey which has showed that approximately quarter, about 25 of all uh, hotels in Croatia, 
will use some uh, additional uh, certifications and labels from the international certification organization to additionally uh, certify their standards and protocols and to ensure the guests that they are uh, that they are safe and that all the requirements and all the regulations are in place uh, in hotels. Uh, two things that I would just like to point out that were already mentioned, but I think that they are really, really important, is that for this summer season, the, our guests which will come will be uh, welcomed uh, by the staff which will be vaccinated, and I think this is very important message. And also, we are all aware uh, that uh, the situation, you know, as we can see in this uh, one year, a little bit more that we have a pandemic, will go probably back and forth with the numbers. So we are aware that the uh, testing facilities has to be available and has to be uh, fast and uh, at the disposal of the guests. So majority of Croatian hotels will have also testing uh, facility inside of hotels more basically uh, they will be uh, able to do the test in the hotels so this is regarding uh, health and safety which is by far our uh, most uh, important message for the the guest the second thing is digitalization of course we have used uh, technology again to promote uh, safety so uh, I would say that this pandemic has uh, speeded up the process of digitalization of hotel operation for at least five to seven years uh, in Croatia. And uh, there is really a big proportion of Croatian hotels which now use different kind of te uh, digital technologies to reduce and to remove the customer uh, touch points. So uh, when all of this started in the April, May, our office, you know, like uh, overwhelmed with uh, calls from our uh, uh, members, uh, what our suggestion, what technology to use. And this is something which was uh, really uh, moved significantly forward. Uh, I think this is a process which will not stop, but which will continue to roll out to Croatian hospitality and entire tourism and uh, to, to have the entire sector, you know, to open to, to fresh idea. As uh, the as, uh, final pir pillar of our efforts are definitely communications, what uh, Mr. Stanicic already mentioned, the uh, promotional efforts that our uh, National Tourist Board is doing and our ministry is doing. But I would say that all of this situation has... Uh, raise the communication uh, level and efforts in our hotels to new standards. Uh, we have, we are doing this in two ways. First, to uh, ensure and inform our guests about the measures that are being implemented in the hotels from one side and from the other side, what jointly will all the other stakeholders in tourism, we are trying to uh, keep our guests informed as far as possible on the all of the regulations which are in place for borders, crossing, testing, local local regulation. What have been results so far about this? I can really say that uh, results have been uh, really outstanding. We know that uh, when looking just at the numbers, Croatia had a relatively good season in comparison with other our uh, Mediterranean uh, neighbors. The reactions from the guests were really uh, outstanding and feedback has been really great. It, it has been interesting to see that the stricter the rules and protocol was in the hotels, the feedback was, was getting better. So all of okay. the measures are uh, have uh, or, uh, obviously been a uh, well aware uh, positions and this gives us optimism for the upcoming year and we last through this entire situation didn't have any registered spreading of virus in our hotels this is obviously gives us a good starting point for the this season and we are expecting a better season than last year and a good start of this uh, restart and uh, a healing of our sector. Thank you very much, Bernard, uh, for this hotelier uh, standpoint. 
I recall exactly that um, health and safety for you obviously is an issue too. You are achieving this by offering to your customers the reinsurance that testing facilities will be in the hotels, may be available, and that you have a, a big project ongoing digitalization of your processes uh, in operations. So I guess the, all this is good news. You are working, working, mm -hmm. and you are reassuring. Well, uh, this gives us um, uh, the link further down the value chain. Let's move to tour operator uh, point of view, to tour operator point of view. And please let me welcome Helmut Schwentner. Um, uh, this is uh, Travel Europe, um, the uh, CEO, uh, 30 years old, a company, family-run business, one of the most successful tour operators into Croatia's, uh, into Croatia, uh, cooperating with hoteliers, with the local actors, uh, and yes, uh, to offer, in order to offer a broad product offering in the source markets. Helmut, what is your vision? What are your challenges to make Croatia uh, run uh, this summer 21? The floor is yours. So, dear Jürgen, hello and welcome to all speakers and auditors. Many thanks to ECTA for invitation. I was told six minutes is the time. I will try to, to, to keep this. I was asked, what are the needs of travelers? This was uh, the initial question what Jürgen uh, gave to me. Uh, maybe this is the very original question, what a tour operator has to questionnaire himself all the time. What does a traveler expect, especially this year? A safe and a beautiful holiday. He does not expect troubles, of course not. An European destination uh, as Croatia creates wishes for a short and easy, in best case, a direct flight with short transfer times. Everybody, I would say, understands in this year that we will need when traveling, we will need documents to prove vaccination or negative tests or proof of recovery. But everybody is hesitating when hearing to be tested at destination for an entry in the country. So the test should be already brought with. Uh, to be tested when going back is acceptable, I would say. Uh, of course, the home country nationality will take you back anyway, so uh, this is not an issue. But on our arrival, what will happen if you are tested positive on the uh, airport of, uh, of your arrival? A quarantine, 14 days, what a disaster. Nobody uh, wants to have this. And for this, what minister, uh, the minister said already, this green pass, I absolutely uh, believe in this. I think this is very, very much important. Uh, and as I understood, most of European countries try to find a common way on this green bus. And Croatia, I heard today, uh, is uh, already coming with it in the beginning of June. This is a really good message also for a tour operator. And of course, last but not least, a traveler expects a safe destination with great concepts and distances in restaurants, in uh, wellness uh, areas, everywhere. And as far as, as, uh, as, far as I know, uh, and all, uh, all what we heard from the previous speakers, Croatia provides perfect hotel concepts. And we heard about the safe stay la labels. This is the right way to go. And, uh, for the worst case, a medical care on high standards. This is also one of the positive things for Croatia. I think uh, nobody wants to be hospital, uh, hospitalized somewhere where he is not sure about the standard, but I can confirm Croatia is uh, on a high level. As a tour operator, what do you need to be able to sell Croatia in this year? Uh, the most important is to have a planning reliability. And to be honest, this is a, a challenge uh, because we will all find ourselves in a situation with, with late bookings 
people will uh, wait for a border opening, for the green pass, for uh, their weekly changing rules in their home countries, uh, for some economic uh, situations to be cleared. Operator has enormous difficulties at time being to predict volume. And uh, this makes the life not easy for hotels, uh, for airlines, for, for all the, the stakeholders. Um, to be honest, we as Travel Europe, we will go in the spring and also in the early summer sales on scheduled flights. Uh, to install charter chains, you need to have a visibility on your sales. And, uh, but we are pretty sure to produce enough volume to come with charters from end of August to mid-November. Uh, we believe in a very strong autumn this year, and also that season will not end beginning of October. I'm, I'm uh, also convinced it will last longer this year, what is good for all, for all stakeholders as well. Um, as you might know, our main mar markets, uh, source markets are UK, France, and Spain. And for us, it seems for sure that the UK market will be back first. And a tour operator also needs a scalable numbers of bedrooms. And this is not easy to provide for the industry because our hotel partners also have to plan, to plan their reopenings. Uh, I'm sure Mr. Tsgomba will explain this later. Um, and what are the risks? I was uh, asked also about risks. This season, one is a more or less technical risk for a tour operator that flight schedules are not yet reliable 100%. It is becoming better every week. But for example, the planned flights inbound to Croatia have been thinned out till end of June. And then we see a tension, what is great. We hope the visibility and reliable will improve on this aspect. And uh, the last point, is also the health risk. Uh, the, at this time, Croatia has quite high incidence in COVID-19. We are sure and believe that the country will manage this situation. And, and the minister al already confirmed today that the infectors now are really going down. But for selling Croatia at this time, it is complicated to have uh, presently high numbers but uh, if really uh, it is going down week by week, then I uh, think we, we should manage altogether. Thanks for listening. And uh, yes, back to you again. Thank you very much. Helmut, thank you very much uh, for these uh, interesting remarks. And I guess our 134 participants uh, who are selling, who are marketing Croatia all over Europe uh, were quite interesting, interested in hearing your point of view. Let's move on and let's go to the destination, into the destination. Let's go to the companies who make it happen, who make it happen in the destinations. And this is where Boris Klumba, uh, the president of the Trade Association of Croatian Travel Agencies and the Croatian Chamber of Commerce too. Uh, this is where Boris can uh, give us some, some insights uh, what are your challenges for this relaunch of Croatian tourism in 21? Boris. Thank you very much, Jürgen. Uh, thank you very much for every uh, part of the, the discussion which my colleague is giving. Helmut, thank you for good word from the tour operator is outside, and I will try to do inside uh, to make a connection to that. Uh, First of all, uh, you heard from uh, our authority, which is minister, and from our authority also, which is Christian, uh, with, uh, with the Croatian National Tourist Board, the plans, the facts, and uh, what we <clears throat> expect to do. The goal of uh, all, to, uh, all of us in the tourism sector is to restart organizing touristic travel as soon as possible. This is obvious. We believe that the great efforts we have been made to ensure the stable economic epidemic situation. And talking about that, we are going last two weeks 25% less every week, which is very good, good uh, trend. And we hopefully, I'm not epidemical, I'm more optimistical, but 
let's say uh, we are talking about about uh, possibility that uh, second half of uh, may we come to the same uh, the, the, to, to the green zone to the end of may to the green zone is optimistical but is also realistic on the numbers which we have and we know everybody about the epidemic situation no? uh, we have 20 2020 behind us we learn a lot of things we introduced the security standard you heard from my colleague Zenzerovic and uh, from the minister and uh, and Christian uh, we educated tourism worker how to how to deal with that with this pandemic how to deal with the guests uh, tourist agency uh, have prepared the attractive offer and uh, additional service to like excursion gourmets and everything while respecting epidemical measures and uh, we clearly definite, definite the condition in which guests can enter in Croatia and I will repeat one time more I see the questions also in the, in the chat the, 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 the guest can enter in this moment and far away uh, and with, with the COVID, COVID green, green uh, uh, certificate more than that with uh, the, the, with the, the, the situation that they uh, have a COVID in the last last six months with that that they are they are uh, vaccinated 14 days prior to, to to the becoming and with the antigen i'm talking about antigen test which is not uh, more than uh, 72 hours which means it's much easier one thing more uh, you can enter also with the uh, with the certificate that you are vaccinated with the uh, vaccine who is not uh, all, all only in the uh, European Union. I'm talking about the Russian vaccinated or other vaccinated. This is very important. Uh, you heard from the hotels, which uh, from last year they prepared the safe, safe protocols. We are not, and this is joke, all times like a tour operators on the same same side with the hotels industry. You know that, but. In this moment, we are more than on the same side because we want to protect and to make safe our clients, not only in the hotel, but in all other kind of accommodation, marinas, uh, accommodation in apartments, campings, and so on. So this is very important to know. And uh, if we are talking about the risk, uh, like Helmut also was asking, I'm, I'm also asking, let's say that in this moment, there are big opportunities generally talking about the risk but they are smaller and smaller every day which we are passing i think and i'm not optimist i think that we are realistic that we in croatia we will have but not only in croatia we are talking now about croatia but let's say in euro mediterranean area that we will have a one good season starting uh, mostly mostly from june in advance and i also think that the october will be not finished of our season because uh, with the, let's say some good weather and everything we will we will pass by good season good result and restarting of tourism with the safety method this is the recept for a good good life in tourism thank you very much all right uh, boris thank you very much for this uh, comprehensive uh, uh, explanation of the challenges of the risks and of the opportunities which are uh, in front of the Croatian tourism. Um, the panel discussion was very rich. And let me try to resume um, the key elements, I guess, which, which I understood. The key elements um, Christian uh, put forward from the National Tourism Office point is make customers feel reassured and promote this all over in adequate messages. From the hotel side, I understood Bernard. Um, he really insisted on get the processes, the operation operations processes adapted, including vaccination of the workforce, which is pretty unique in Europe, uh, what Croatia is doing there. You're the first, and uh, this gives you an uh, early winner uh, uh, gain possible. I understand that Helmut uh, addressed the subject of reliability. Uh, can, we, can we really uh, count on Croatia? And we've heard, yes, we can. And visibility, which is obviously something we cannot manage 
but we need to adapt. And Boris, I guess he, he put it all together in saying from the incoming perspective, uh, we need to operate something which is adapted. We need to create attractive offerings for the clients to be safe and interested and have a good vacation experience. So these are some buzzwords which I wanted to resume. Um, if there are, I have had a look into the chat. Uh, some questions of the chat have already been answered. Thank you very much for the panelists for having done so. Um, um, Eric, do you have any other questions which have been put in the chat which I might not have seen? Mm, no. Okay. So this would then uh, give me the unique chance uh, to, congrat uh, to, to, to introduce you to the president, the acting president of ECTA, Pavel Lievedomsky. Uh, Pavel, the floor is yours for some concluding remarks. Thank you very much for my part. Thank you very much and good afternoon to all of you. Um, thank you for happen. As you know, um, Croatia is ECTA's preferred destination for uh, this year and we will be uh, having our biannual meeting in Zagreb at the beginning of uh, July and I'm really <clears throat> very much looking forward to hopefully the most uh, on-site meeting as possible because I suppose that uh, we will uh, be able to travel um, in a wider uh, sense as possible, especially that when you look at the new <clears throat> results of the questionnaire and on the research work done by the um, European Travel Commission, it seems that European uh, travelers are just waiting to travel. Um, the, the best uh, results out of the six um, uh, research questionnaires they have conducted uh, says that um, uh, five, I think it's 56 percent of um, of uh, travelers wishing to travel until the end of August and starting at the beginning of June. So there is a big demand uh, for traveling and I think uh, on the other hand there's going to be a big competition between incoming destinations and I really um, am glad because I'm a fan of Croatia, by the way. I'm really glad that um, the Croatian authorities made a pragmatical approach to uh, a pragmatic approach to all the restrictions and to the operational uh, issues that outgoing tour operators are facing when operating to a destination. Um, so this is uh, a great opportunity for. Uh, uh, doing business this year. However, there of course will be some issues and questions which uh, already arise, many of which have already been addressed by uh, panelists here. But I think um, it's also the question of, how, from the European um, perspective, how this uh, green certificate is going to work, whether um, there is going to be some kind of uh, unity among um, uh, EU member states uh, concerning uh, how this application is going to work, whether there's going to be a political um, approval. So this is the one thing on political, from the political side, but also from the operational side, how are, going to, uh, how are children going to be treated? There's a big demand for uh, youth travel. <clears throat> I know that Croatia is not going to uh, um, uh, uh, require tests for, under, uh, for children under, under the age of seven, <clears throat> but um, there's going to be a question uh, how you're going to treat children between seven and 18. For example, <clears throat> this is a quite a big issue. Some children and youngsters, they just don't want anything to be put in their nose or in their throat. So I know this is a, an issue that needs to be um, addressed. Of course, there is also the issue of safety. I must say that you are doing quite a, uh, quite a good job. I hope this job is done not only in Poland, but also in other countries. Uh, you are having these webinars every, every week showing uh, different um, regions of Croatia. 
this is the thing you need to uh, to continue and to show the beauty of the destination, the safety of the destination, the measures taken, and the requirements that, that are going to be needed for travelers to your beautiful country. Also from the operational side, I know it is the case, but it needs improvement. I think uh, with the risk of tour operators, I think hoteliers need to, um, to uh, implement uh, more flexible measures for tour operators because the decisions are also going to be taken on a very last minute. There's going to still to be there's go still going to be um, a big last minute market. So thank you very much for um, uh, everything you're doing to restart the operation. I recall from last year that uh, the governments of the Czech Republic and Croatia were the first to introduce some kind of a bubble travel, a, a, a bubble uh, between the destinations. Now I think it's the travel trade that is creating these bubbles, utilizing the pragmatic and uh, good um, um, uh, approach to uh, restrictions in travel, but of course, on the other hand, uh, managing this uh, unprecedented crisis. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pavel. Uh, just one big thank you to uh, the Croatian National Tourism Board. One big thank you to uh, the Minister of Tourism, Nikolina Brinjac, uh, to Frida as well, and to all our four panel speakers. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy your day. Have a, have a beautiful summer and ho hopefully in Croatia. Thank you very much. See you in Zagreb.